Yes, you guys, this actually happened. Porter slept all night last night and Greg keeps trying to cover him in his bear blankies. But this little guy slept from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. That was so good, Porter. You guys, this is crazy because for Grayson, he did not sleep through the night until he was six months old. Oh, Grayson. And Porter is not even two months old yet. This is so crazy. And Gray just keeps trying to get this little sticker that I put on the blanket. And he just wants to play with it. And Porter just wants to watch Grayson. And Porter has pink ups. And he puked all over himself this morning and all over the sheets. So we're going to have to give him a bath. And I had to change his sheets. But it doesn't matter because he slept all night. Woohoo! I am so pumped about this, you guys. Look at him just staring at Grayson. He's like, what is this crazy guy doing? Did you sleep all night? Oh, you did. He's not much of a talker, you guys, but he sure smiles a lot. <laughs> he just loves watching Are you doing trick or treat? Grayson is at our front door and he keeps ringing the doorbell. He is now tall enough to reach it and he keeps ringing it and saying trick or treat. <laughs> and when Anthony's here, he'll go get a piece of candy and open it and give it to Gray. So I think we're teaching him bad habits though because he's going to think every house if he goes trick or treat, they're going to give him candy. Doorbell. You can see my sad excuse for decorations this year. <laughs> I've got one pumpkin in the corner behind Gray, and then my little fall wreath up there, and that's it. Usually I have more out here. Ding dong! Usually I have more out here, but just wasn't into it this year. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! I can't believe he's tall enough. You guys, he's reaching the doorbell and the light switches. just opens and closes the door. I'm sitting here with Porter. He is funny. The past couple days, he refuses to let me put him down. Um, I might be able to get like a two hour stretch out of him in the middle of the day when he's super tired, but anytime other than that, I have to be holding him. If I put him down while he's sleeping, he wakes up and freaks out. So I'm holding him while he's sleeping and we are outside enjoying this amazing weather. It's 67, 68 out. It feels awesome. We're not wearing clothes again. It's not wearing clothes. <laughs> We're not wearing coats again. Doorbell. And it's like 68, 69, and it's November 5th. Still don't know who the president is. Um, sounds like it might be a while. So, ding dong. And we are out here on the front porch, just on the bench, rocking. While Gray plays, Anthony just left to go get my car an oil change. Trick or treat, close the door, please. The only reason I worry about him opening that door is Felix could escape because he likes to escape out the front door and the back door. Close the door, please. Yeah, so Anthony went and took my car for an oil change and uh, my car takes like synthetic oil, doorbell, because it's like a newer car. And so the synthetic oil, usually instead of getting your oil changed at like 5,000 miles, I can make it to like 7,500 miles. Um, it's nice, but it's more expensive when you get the oil change. But so usually, you know, I have to get it about twice a year, or maybe three times a year because I do about a thousand miles a month. Well, with COVID and everything, and we weren't driving for a couple months, this is my first time getting an oil change since December of last year, and it's November 5th. So I almost went a full year without an oil change because of how 
I just haven't been driving, so I haven't needed an oil change. I mean, it is so crazy, honestly. It is just so crazy that I, this is the first of this year. It's almost been a year. I was thinking it's about, probably about two months shy of a full year of no oil change. So that's pretty impressive and kind of sad, but whatever. Um, we did make a couple trips to Toledo over the last year. Just ignore Grayson. He's just trying to get me to repeat him and I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna repeat him. He is so obsessed with me repeating everything he says and I really feel like I need to break that habit. So I'm just not gonna respond to him. Anyway, so yes, Anthony is off doing that and we are just enjoying the sun while it's here. Um, unfortunately, because of daylight savings time ending, it gets dark, completely pitch dark at 6 p.m. now. And the sun starts to set about five. It's really sad. So we have to come out and play while we can. It's about four o'clock now and the sun is starting to go down. So it won't be up too much longer, which is sad because it just makes the day seem a lot shorter. Well, no, the days still seem long because I have two kids, but the daylight is a lot shorter. So anyway. We're just chilling out here. Gray's gotten tired of the doorbell scene, so we are just gonna rock. We've been playing in the leaves, raking them, and yeah, we're just chilling for the rest of the day.